solving absolute value equations. All right, so for example, we have been told that for k greater than 0, if the absolute value of u is equal to k, then u is equal to the opposite of k, or u is equal to k. So we can use that idea to solve absolute value equations, as long as they fit that form. This example, we have the absolute value of 3 minus 3x subtract 2 is equal to 2. The first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add 2 to both sides. That will put the equation in a form more like what we are used to. So the absolute value of 3 minus 3x is equal to 4. Now I can use that idea from that general statement. Since this is now of the form absolute value of u equals a number, I can split this up into two equations. 3 minus 3x is equal to negative 4, or 3 minus 3x is equal to positive 4. Now from here, both of these are linear equations, so relatively easy to solve. For the first equation, I would subtract the 3 from both sides. So negative 3x is equal to negative 7, and dividing by negative 3, x is equal to 7 thirds. And for the second equation, same steps, subtracting the 3, gives negative 3x equals 1, and dividing by the negative 3, x is negative 1 third. So the equation has two solutions, negative 1 third and positive 7 thirds. Now when we have inequalities, it's a little bit more difficult. If we have an absolute value inequality that's a less than, so the absolute value of u is less than a number, we actually put the inside of the absolute value between the opposite of the number and the number itself. And we have the three-part inequality. And if we have a greater than inequality, it actually splits up into two inequalities combined by an or u is less than negative k, or u is greater than k. So here we have the absolute value of 3x minus 4 is less than or equal to 8. Since this is of the first form, since this is of the form absolute value of u is less than k, I can rewrite this as a three-part inequality. So I would have the 3x minus 4 inside, and on the outside I put the, the opposite of the number, and the number itself. And now I solve this three-part inequality. First step is to add 4, but we have to be careful here. We have to add 4 to all three parts of the inequality. Yielding negative 4 is less than or equal to 3x is less than or equal to 4. I'm sorry, that should be a 12. 8 plus 4 is 12. And now we'll divide by 3, but again we have to divide all three parts of the inequality by 3. So then we have negative 4 thirds is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 4. The absolute value of 5 minus 3x is greater than 2. So this is of the second form. The absolute value of u is greater than k. We can rewrite this as two inequalities. 5 minus 3x is less than negative 2, or 5 minus 3x is greater than 2. And we would solve each of these inequalities um, like before. I would subtract 5 from both sides, so we'd have negative 3x is less than negative 7, and divide through by negative 3. Now be careful, remember when you divide an inequality by a negative number, you flip the symbol of inequality. So then x would be greater than 7 thirds. Or, subtracting 5 from both sides, negative 3x is greater than negative 3. Again, I'd have to divide by the negative 3 and flip the symbol of inequality. So then x is less than 1 x is greater than 7 thirds, or x is less than 1.